All right. So the next question to be discussed from the answer key of GATE 2023 exam is question number 56. Okay. This is the question which many of you have asked me to discuss. A lot of confusion is there uh, regarding this question. It's a multiple selective question or MSQ which has more than one correct answers. From the chemistry portion, the option correct option according to the an correct answer key or according to the official answer key is A, B and C. All the three options are correct. It's again a two marker question. So yes, a discussion is must for this question. So let's have a discussion of it. Let's look upon the question now. So this is your question number 56. All right. This is your question. It's from your uh, adsorption topic from surface chemistry. It says for non dissociative adsorption of gas on solid. There are two points given. The first point says that the friendly adsorption isotherm is given by theta is equals to k uh, p to the power 1 by n where theta is surface coverage, p is the pressure, k and n are empirical constants. All right. Second says that the BET isotherm is given by p upon p star minus p is equals to theta by c plus theta c minus 1 p upon p star where p star and c are empirical constant and p is very small than p star. The correct statements is r. Now, I am not going to explain all the options because there is not much confusion about option A and option C. These two are correct options. Okay, these they two are correct option. The only confusion is regarding option number B that whether this option is correct or not. Okay, so let us look upon this. Let me zoom this up here. Yeah. So it says that at high surface coverage, Langmuir isotherm reduces to friendly isotherm with n is equals to infinity. All right. So, for that we have to write down both of them. So, first let us write down Langmuir. Okay. So, according to your Langmuir isotherm, Langmuir isotherm, what we have? We have that theta is equals to Kp upon 1 plus Kp. If you have dissociation or association going on, then you have power 1 by n also. Right. Now, or you can say that uh, basically uh, in the form of theta also you can write down k p is equals to theta upon 1 minus theta that is what you can write down. But this 1 by n comes for association or dissociation that is a different thing. What we are actually trying to say is uh, theta is equals to k p upon 1 plus k p. I am not going to write down n because then you will get confused with this. This n is going to be applicable on friend link not here. Okay. So, n over here is the number of particles in which it dissociates or associate. So, let us keep it simple. Let us not assume that dissociation or association is happening. Let us assume that basically just a general Langmuir isotherm is getting followed. Now, at high surface coverage, when surface coverage is high, surface coverage high means over there your theta will be equal to or it will be high, right? Theta is what? Theta is basically ratio of uh, your overall uh, like area which is being covered and the amount of surf, uh, amount of like this is the overall uh, available site for uh, adsorption and this is the sites which are covered by adsorption. Okay, So, that is the ratio is called theta that is called as uh, surface coverage ratio also. So, for at high surface coverage when the surface coverage will be high that means all the available sites which are m denoted by m over here. So, I am going a little bit in friendly but let us understand it that over here m is denoting the overall sites which are available for so these are let us say these are all the sites available for its option and how much of them are covered that is like how many of them are covered that is what your uh, like x denotes and the ratio of both of them is the uh, ratio means how much are covered and how much are available ratio of both of them is theta. So, at high surface coverage what could be the highest value? The highest could be that all the surface are covered, all of them are covered. So, x will be equal to 1, uh, sorry, x will be equal to m and in that case the highest value, the highest value of theta is going to be equal to 1. Okay? So, the highest value of theta that you can reach is going to be 1 All right, and 1 is of course a constant so that you can keep as a constant. But now what they say, so this is fun part done. The other part says that the friendly isotherm with n is equals to infinity. Now, according to the uh, friendly, uh, according to uh, friendly isotherm, what do we have? It is given in quotient itself that we have theta is equals to kp to the power 1 by n. So, we will use that, that theta is equals to kp to the power 1 by n. Now, at 
n is equals to infinite that is the condition which we have to apply according to the question in the isotherm. If we apply that we know ki 1 by if, if n is equals to infinite so 1 by infinite or 1 by n will be equal to 0 because you know ki 1 by infinite is equal is equals to 0. So, if I put 0 here so my theta my theta becomes equals to k p to the power 0 or I can say that my theta becomes equals to k which is again a constant. Now, the question is ki they have said in the answer ki they have said ki it is correct. So, it says that the at the high surface coverage the Langmuir isotherm reduces to friendly isotherm with n is equals to infinite. Now, both the things like according to Langmuir you are getting theta is equals to 1, according to friendly you are getting theta is equals to k which should be considered. See k is a constant we know that it is a constant 1 is again a constant value means see at high value of surface coverage means the surface coverage is not happen. <coughs> so, high value of surface coverage means now there is no surface coverage ok let us let us understand it in according to the according to the words ok. So, what does this theta constant means theta is equals to constant means what that means ki there is no no change in the ratio of uh, surface that is being covered. So, as I have given example let us say this this whole box shows the total av uh, like available surface for coverage ok. And let us say that this much this much part of it is covered. So, what will be theta theta will be this part divided by the whole area ok or the whole part. So, that is theta if that is constant that means that there is no more adsorption happening only this much part is getting adsorbed ok that is what theta is equals to constant means. And at what value theta can be constant at what value theta can be constant or at what value this adsorption can be stopped that is only one thing which you can get is that when your this whole uh, surface is, be, is being covered alright. So, the maximum value which this theta can attain ok maximum value that theta can attain in any case whether it is friendly or is it uh, like Langmuir in any of the case that can be equal to 1 and that is the value where it is going to remain constant. So, although by by derivation or by equation you will get theta is equals to k and you might argue on this the how these how this is going to be correct because this is only going to be correct when a condition is applicable that when when k is equals to 1 then only this thing is applicable right then only you can say that option b is correct. But you have to understand this that theta is surface coverage and it is going to become constant the surface coverage is going to become constant only when it is going to attain its maximum limit ok. And the maximum value or the maximum limit uh, when it is going to be reached at that time uh, your theta will become equal uh, sorry yeah the theta will become equal to 1 because theta actually is the ratio of the surface that is available to the surface which is being covered. So, at, at the maximum value all the surface is actually being covered and that is that is the value of 1. So, k automatically becomes 1 when the surface coverage is high ok. So, that is it for this video thank you so much for watching I will see you in the next one I will discuss the next question in the other video. So, see you in the next one till then have a great day bye bye take care. Hey guys, so I teach live on Unacademy plus platform here I teach for the CSI or UGC net category and you can follow me over here for regular classes you can access my free classes as well as my paid classes on this particular platform the classes which are free you can get that under the section of special classes whereas in order to access my paid classes paid live classes we have to take an academy plus subscription. So, do make sure that you take the an academy plus subscription to access all my paid classes which are quite organized the whole syllabus is being completed over there and the classes are quite regular over there. So, make sure that you take an academy plus subscription by using my referral code that is n underscore huda. That is it for this thank you so much.